Okay, welcome to Educators Chat. This is uh, episode nine. I'm Eric, that's Sarah, and you are meeting Megan Hunter from Loop City, Arcadia Loop City, as the uh, co-op and the activities go. But uh, uh, Megan, as we have moved through to the end of April, now we're into going to be into May by the time we get this thing posted. Um, the the rush of what was happening at the end of March has come and gone. Everybody kind of got into their routine, and now the end of a actual school year quote unquote uh loom so uh how are things going for you guys um i think as good as could be hoped for anticipated i don't know that any of us knew what we were in for but so far so good i think so tell us a little bit about what uh what has gone on with with school for you guys and kind of how the the day-to-day -day routine has gone sure so um i teach at arcadia um, and I normally teach art classes and then some digital media classes. So we've been doing Zoom classes. We do two hours a day. Like what are the other projects where they just like draw and send it in? Or like, how does that work yeah. with art classes? <laughs> I don't know that art lends itself to online learning the best. So we've been doing a lot of um, like drawing projects and stuff they can do at home with the materials that they have. And then obviously the digital media side of things is a little bit easier since they all have a Chromebook. So yeah, yeah. a learning curve for sure. Yeah. So you guys have been able to still, uh, digital wise, you've been able to still have kids create stuff. What are some of the things that you guys have done? Um, since it's the end of the year, we're kind of focusing on wrapping up our yearbook production. Um, so actually the Zoom is kind of nice because I can do screen sharing if they're um, needing something troubleshooted and I can kind of click them through how to do stuff. So that's actually been kind of nice. Um, yeah, just gathering our content, the pictures we've taken throughout the year and wrapping up some end of the year projects. Yeah, cool. And I know Megan, you're an artist yourself and uh, you're a teacher, you're a mom, you're a wife. Like what is life looking like for you personally at home? Um, it's a little chaotic. My husband is here now. He's working from home too. He's a parole officer in Kearney. So he kind of has the room space on the table. And then I'm like in a back room, just doing our own things. So um, luckily our daycare has been able to stay open. So that's been kind of nice. We haven't had the stress of trying to manage the day. So yeah. <laughs> Having the little ones at home while you're trying to teach is a whole nother level. <laughs> How about the, the school and the community? What are some of the things that, uh, you know, the, the community is rallied around, uh, you know, small town Nebraska, everybody uh, rallies around any kind of stuff when something bad happens. So what are, what are some of the things that has kind of uh, helped everyone come together a little bit? Yeah, I think Arcadia is really awesome. Um, they're like a super tight knit um, small community. So they're really flexible and understanding and willing to work with us as we figure this out. Um, so that's been really nice. Um, yeah, just talking on the phone with kids and parents and then troubleshooting with them and seeing what works and doesn't work has been really good so far. Yeah, do you have any seniors in your classes right now? We do. One of my digital media classes is just all senior girls. So they're a little bit heartbroken, but we're kind of trying to go with it and still make something special for them. And we just found out graduation will hopefully be in July. So I think that okay. has taken a little bit of the weight off their shoulders. Um, so perhaps kind of curious to see if there has been has there been any extra time for you to kind of learn something new or read a book you've been putting off or uh, has this been kind of a kind of keep the nose to the grindstone kind of time for you? I think the first few weeks were super hard um, trying to manage that time and like making boundaries for yourself at home because I think when you're at home it's easy to just work nonstop and not know when to quit. So um, I think kind of making a schedule for yourself and planning out your day and and giving yourself space to take a break and walk away from things is really important. Um, so we've kind of figured that out as we went and definitely making time to be outside and read things that, that take our mind off of stuff has been good too. 
So Sarah mentioned you do, you're an artist as well. What are some of the things that you've uh, kind of, kind of kept creating as everything has gone on? Um, so a few months ago, I bought a new lens for my camera. So I've been enjoying um, kind of playing with that in my free time now and, and having more time to do that and learn how to edit in Lightroom and, and stuff like that on our MacBook. Um, so yeah, I'm thankful for the chance to be able to do that because sometimes that's hard when you're working full time all week. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we understand that, yeah. The, when you were in a creative project at work and then it's time to be done and go home, like how do you keep that back up or do you just keep going all night? Like, yeah, I feel that. I'm not sure I'm learning anything cool like Lightroom right now or I don't have a new lens. I don't even have a camera, but I'm watching a lot of Skillshare, I guess. What about you, Eric? What are you learning? <laughs> uh, I literally just got an iPad, so I'm actually yeah. like literally had it for two days now. So um, learning what I can do on it. Um, and really, so I have a first grader who's seven and a three-year-old girl too. And uh, so I put, I got Pixelmator on it because we ha I have that at, uh, on my work laptop. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like, well, maybe I can do some, some sketching things on that and uh also excited like my first grader grabbed it right away and he's like show me where the brush is show me where your eraser mm -hmm. is and he started drawing right away so uh, that was kind of cool too um because we've got some other you know kind of color i don't even know what they're called they have a special marker that go on it but it's kind of glass and kind of a dry erase type thing but uh something that a little more permanent that he could he could save a picture. He's kind of excited about that. So he's got a, he's already got a stack of pixel meter files <laughs> of, of making stuff. So uh, teaching him how to draw and, and actually um, pointing him to the right YouTubes <laughs> has been uh, the thing that I've learned the most in the last two days. That's awesome. Yeah. How old is your son, Megan? Um, he'll be two in June. Okay, exciting. I didn't know if he was at the age where he was drawing already and doing things but he's a he likes it there. Cool. so he drew us a nice picture on the bathroom door the other day oh no <laughs> yeah. oh man we're at that stage so <laughs> have you guys been able to like go to the park and things in arcadia well we actually live in ravana so i'm in ravana right now um our parks are not like roped off or closed off or anything but we've kind of avoided the playgrounds and stuff so just yeah. like and playing outside but do you have any other advice or words of knowledge for educators who are listening on um like maybe projects or even learning how to take a break for yourself really really anything since we're yeah. kind of in the thick of corona and maybe coming out of it soon we'll see as they open guess. things up you know hopefully things go okay but do you have any final words i guess I think the main thing is just to take care of each other. I think we've done a really good job at Arcadia. Um, we luckily had a day before we were just closed to work together as a staff and make a plan and um, talk each other through things, how to use different programs. So I think checking in with each other and encouraging each other to not be afraid to try new things is really important. And then, um, New this year we put in a mentor mentee program so each of us have a few students that we mentor and um, call just once or twice a week to check in on them so I think kind of putting the academics almost on the back burner and focusing more on like their mental health and how things are going at home and if they need help with anything has been really important for us and for our kids too since everything's so chaotic right now. Right. What's one thing that you're most looking forward to to getting back to at when there's when normal returns? Um, I'm just excited to have kids back in the classroom, especially for art. Um, it's hard to create online and and walk each other through things. It's it's nice to be able to do that stuff together, especially for the little kids. I haven't seen them since March, so I'm missing the elementary art. And I'm excited to work again with the older kids too. Well, this is where we sign off and say, th Megan, thanks for joining us and uh, good luck with the rest of uh, what May and what uh, the school year looks like. Thank you, you guys too.